damn, I forgot to charge my contacts. Now, charging an object is something you normally associate with an electronic device. But with today's talk, I want to convince you that in some years' time, we will be charging our smart contact lens. Now, before I continue, let me briefly explain what I mean with a smart contact lens. Now, while a normal contact lens is just used as a passive way for uh, enhancing your vision, a smart contact lens actively provides a solution to a problem. Now, there are three main application domains where we can use such a smart contact lens, and the first is augmented reality. Now, augmented reality means that you experience a superimposed view onto your normal view, which allows you to interact with, with pe uh, people and objects you are looking at. This could be, for instance, some appointments you have made with your colleague or the description of a painting you are looking at. Now, there, uh, the concept of augmented reality actually has been around for quite some time, but it was recently revived by Google and its Google Glasses which integrates a display into the glasses. The problem with this is, in fact, that it's still glasses. It might be heavyweight, or it might hamper your movements. And you can imagine that in some situations, like, for instance, a firefighter who wants to check the status of a building before entering it, or a paramedic who wants to check some vital information of a patient in mortal danger, for these, it could be a problem. So we started to think, what could be the next step? And we think that is integration of the display into a contact lens. Now, you can imagine that is indeed a very challenging problem. But we recently succeeded in integrating some LCD technology into the contact lens. And as you can see, we are already uh, able to generate an image onto the lens. Now, the largest remaining problem is that when you wear this lens, you cannot see the image cl uh, clearly because your eye cannot focus on an image that is so closely to it. It's something you can easily experience by yourself when you bring your eye close to your, uh, your hand close to your eye. Now, as you can see, there are still some problems, but I do believe uh, in, in this concept. And, but that doesn't mean, I, and I, I understand that you, you, you still are a little bit skeptical about, about the concept, but that doesn't mean you won't be wearing a smart contact lens. This, because when we look at the second domain, we see biomedical sensing. The eye actually reveals a lot about you, and one of them is your glucose level. Now, researchers at the University of Washington have recently developed a smart contact lens which can measure your glucose level. And this is, of course, very interesting, and it's a convenient way because you don't need to prick yourself every time, and it's much easier to detect dangerous glucose peaks. Third domain, is uh, vision correction, which is kind of returning to the roots of contact lenses. We believe that by making the lenses smart, we can actually outperform current solutions. And we already uh, implemented our own technology, so it could act as an artificial iris, which is useful for people who have a damaged iris or who even have, uh, doesn't, don't have an iris due to some genetic disease. Now, and also a third, uh, application uh, in this vision domain is, is uh, the reading glasses. So we believe that smart contact lenses can actually outperform or free yourself from these reading glasses. And it's actually a problem that is common for about everybody who is older than 40. Now, when we overlook all these domains, you can imagine that many people might be wearing smart contact lenses. But there's still one key issue that I want to address, and that is how will we use it? Because in the end, Smart technology should be easy to use. And to show you my vision on this, I will use an example. Meet Mary, a 45-year-old woman who is a diabetic and who needs reading glasses. Now, Mary will be wearing a smart contact lens. And this lens actually combines different components. For instance, in the lens there will be a sensor which allows her to monitor her glucose level and also an electric optic com component which frees her from her reading glasses. Now, there are also diff uh, very important components like uh, an organic uh, solar cell and a micro battery. These provide energy to the lens, which allow it to continuously operate during the whole day. And these are key components uh, for this technology. Now, at the end of the day, 
When Mary goes to sleep, she will put her, normal, her smart contact lens in a uh, contact lens container, just like your normal uh, contact lenses. But this container allows her to wirelessly charge her contact lenses, just like your smartphone or your electric toothbrush. Now, this is very important because this really enables the technology. This will make, this the usage will be, you wear your lens during the day and you charge it overnight. This is smart technology, which is easy to use. Now, before you ask me when and where can I buy these lenses, I have to say we still need a lot of research, but I strongly believe in the concept. And we are so, we're starting to see that many people are also becoming interested in technology. I even get uh, people from China to have a look at it. Now, as a final note, I would like to add that Regardless of how smart our contact lenses will become, they will still be worn by humans. So, as humans will be humans, it's not uncommon that in some years' time you will hear someone say, ah, oh, damn, I forgot to charge my contacts. Thank you for your time.